I'm 36. Um, I was diagnosed with HIV four months ago, and all of this is new to me, so <laughs> gotta bear with me. It's a lot. It's a lot just dealing with having HIV and knowing that you had it for like four months and being comfortable in your own skin and trying to, you know, relate with the outside world and trying not to isolate yourself and things like that. When I first came in, it was 15. Mm -hmm. The second month that I came in, it dropped down to, what, 875. Mm -hmm. And then the third month that I came in, it dropped from 875 to 260. And then the fourth month that I came in, it dropped even lower to 60. And I don't know what my CD4 account, because I just got a shot yesterday. It feels good. It feels real good because before I got tested and I found out, I thought it was the end of the world. And I thought I couldn't just do what I wanted to do anymore. Excuse me. But I'm okay. I know what you're going through. Um, I'm going through it now. Um, it's just, you just have to take it day by day. I'm like, you just got to make the best of it. I'm like, it's not going to kill you. I'm like, you're still going to be here. It's just, you just got to take better care of yourself. That's, that's all it is. Take your meds and make sure your vial loads is good and your, your CD4 counts are good and keep up with your appointments and <laughs> school yourself. If you plan on having sex, just wrap it up and, you know, just be careful and just learn what you can learn. It's not hard to learn. My nephews and my nieces and my family and God. As long as you have that in your heart, you can overcome anything.